Welcome fellow adventurers to the mystical land of Machu Picchu, nestled in the heart of Peru. This ethereal sanctuary, perched high in the Andes, is a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of a civilization long past. Machu Picchu, often referred to as the Lost City of the Incas, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the new seven wonders of the world. Its allure transcends time, drawing in millions of travelers each year eager to unlock its ancient mysteries and soak in its captivating beauty. Built in the 15th century, this architectural marvel is a testament to the Inca's advanced engineering capabilities. Its structures, built without the use of mortar, have withstood both time and the elements, a silent tribute to the Inca's ingenuity. Yet, Machu Picchu is more than just an archaeological wonder. It's a place where you can feel the pulse of history, the whispers of the ancients echoing through the mountains. It's a place where you can bask in the vastness of the natural landscapes and find tranquility amidst the ruins. The best time to visit is during the dry season, from April to October. Clear skies and a gentle breeze make for a pleasant exploration of the site. However, for those who don't mind a bit of rain and want to see the lush greenery in its prime, the rainy season, from November to March, offers a different kind of charm. Getting to Machu Picchu is an adventure in itself, a journey through time and space. Whether you opt for the famous Inca Trail or the scenic train ride through the Andes, the anticipation of the wonders that await only adds to the thrill. Traveling to Machu Picchu requires some planning. Acclimatize to the altitude in Cusco, stay hydrated, and remember to pack sunscreen. And don't forget to book your permits in advance, especially if you're planning to trek the Inca Trail. As you step onto the sacred grounds of Machu Picchu, let the awe-inspiring views take your breath away. Explore the Temple of the Sun, marvel at the Intihuatana Stone, and soak in the panoramic vistas from the Sun Gate. Its rich history and breathtaking landscapes make it a must-visit for any travel enthusiast. So, get ready to embark on an unforgettable journey and let the spirit of Machu Picchu guide you every step of the way. Before we dive into the travel guide, let's touch upon the rich history and culture that envelops Machu Picchu. This awe-inspiring citadel, cocooned by the emerald peaks of the Andes, holds a rich tapestry of stories that date back to the 15th century. Machu Picchu, often referred to as the Lost City of the Incas, is a testament to the ingenious engineering and architectural prowess of this ancient civilization. The Incas, a people known for their mastery of stone construction and astronomy, built this city around 1450, during the reign of the Inca Emperor Pachacuti. It was likely a royal estate a secluded retreat for the elite, away from the bustle of the empire's capital, Cusco. The city was carefully designed and constructed, with over 200 structures divided into districts and sectors. The upper area housed temples and royal residences, while the lower area was for storage and housing for the workers. The Incas employed advanced techniques to shape and fit the stones together without the use of mortar, a testament to their architectural ingenuity. But Machu Picchu was more than just a city. Its location and design suggest it was a sacred site, a place of spiritual significance for the Incas. The Intihuatana stone thought to be an astronomic clock or calendar and the Temple of the Sun, perfectly positioned to capture the rays of the rising sun, are evidence of this. Machu Picchu was abandoned by the time of the Spanish conquest and its existence remained unknown to the outside world until its rediscovery by American historian Hiram Bingham in 1911. Today, the city stands as a symbol of the Inca civilization's grandeur and mystery, attracting millions of visitors each year. As we delve deeper into the labyrinth of stone structures, the enigmatic ruins of Machu Picchu continue to reveal the secrets of the Inca civilization. The intricate architecture and sophisticated engineering of the site continue to captivate historians and visitors alike. 
When planning your journey to Machu Picchu, timing is key. This ancient city, perched high in the Andes, has two distinct seasons, the dry season and the rainy season. Each offers its own unique charm and challenges. The dry season from April to October is the most popular time to visit. During these months, you'll be greeted with clear skies and crisp mountain air. The trails are drier, making for a more comfortable trek as you explore the winding paths and stone steps of this mystical citadel. On the flip side, the rainy season from November to March transforms Machu Picchu into a lush emerald paradise. The rain breathes life into the surrounding vegetation, draping the city in a vibrant green cloak. While the trails can be a bit slippery, the misty atmosphere adds a touch of enchantment to your adventure. However, if you're a fan of lush green landscapes, the rainy season from November to March might be your preference. Getting to Machu Picchu is an adventure in itself. Most travelers start their journey from the city of Cusco, which is a hive of activity and a gateway to the ancient ruins. From Cusco, you have two main options to reach the mystical city. Option one is to embark on the famous Inca Trail. This four-day trek takes you through the heart of the Andes, offering unparalleled views of the mountains and a deep dive into the Inca civilization. It's challenging, but the rewards are immense. The second option is to take a scenic train ride from Cusco to the town of Aguas Calientes. The journey winds through the majestic Andes and along the Urubamba River, offering a feast for the eyes. From Aguas Calientes, a short but steep bus ride will transport you to the entrance of Machu Picchu. Whichever route you choose, the journey will be filled with breathtaking views and anticipation for the wonders that await. Now, let's explore some essential travel tips to enhance your Machu Picchu experience. As we all know, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and that step should be preparation. The first step in your preparation should be to acclimatize yourself to the high altitude. Machu Picchu is a staggering 7,970 feet above sea level, so altitude sickness can be a real concern. Spend a few days in Cusco, the nearest city, before heading out to the ruins. This will give your body time to adjust and make your exploration of the ancient city all the more enjoyable. Hydration is another key factor to consider. The high altitude combined with the physical exertion of exploring the site means you'll need to drink plenty of water. Pack a refillable water bottle to keep your thirst quenched throughout the day. Dressing in layers is a good strategy when visiting Machu Picchu. The weather can be unpredictable, mornings can be chilly, afternoons can get hot, and rain showers can occur without warning. Having layers allows you to adapt to the changing conditions easily. Don't forget to pack a rain jacket just in case. Sunscreen is an absolute must. The sun can be quite strong at high altitudes, so it's important to protect your skin. A hat and sunglasses will also come in handy to shield your eyes from the bright sun. Finally, let's talk about permits. If you're considering hiking the Inca Trail, you'll need to plan and book your permits well in advance. The trail is highly regulated to protect the environment and only a limited number of hikers are allowed each day. So don't leave it to the last minute. By taking these travel tips into consideration, you'll be well prepared to make the most of your Machu Picchu experience. Remember, the joy of travel is in the journey, not just the destination. Planning and booking your permits in advance is crucial especially if you're considering the Inca Trail. As you step into the ancient city, be prepared to be mesmerized by the Temple of the Sun, the Intihuatana Stone, and the awe-inspiring panoramic views from the Sun Gate. Each of these iconic spots tells its own tale, whispering secrets of the past through the wind. The Temple of the Sun, known for its extraordinary masonry, was a significant place of worship for the Incas, while the Intihuatana Stone, often referred to as the hitching post of the sun, served as an astronomical calendar. And as for the sun gate, it was the main entrance to this sacred city, offering a vantage point like no other. 
As you navigate through the labyrinth of stone structures, remember to pause, breathe, and soak in the magic of this place. The energy, the history, the beauty, it's all around you. Take your time to explore every nook and cranny, immersing yourself in the mystical energy that permeates the air. As our journey through Machu Picchu comes to an end, we hope this guide has sparked the adventurer in you. We've delved into the rich history and culture of this ancient citadel built by the Incas in the 15th century. We've explored the best times to visit, highlighting the dry season for clear skies and the rainy season for lush landscapes. We've navigated the adventurous routes to get there, either by embarking on the famous Inca Trail or taking the scenic train through the Andes. We've shared essential travel tips, from acclimatizing to the high altitude to booking your permits in advance. And finally, we've wandered through the iconic spots within Machu Picchu, from the Temple of the Sun to the breathtaking views from the Sun Gate. Whether you are seeking historical marvels, breathtaking landscapes, or a spiritual journey, Machu Picchu offers it all. Until next time, happy travels.